Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. If you are joining me live on the Zoom call tonight, please feel free to use the chat box and um, let us know where you're coming from, where you're dialing in from. Uh, it's so nice to be here with you guys tonight. If you're watching me live on Facebook, please feel free to pop me a, a hello and let us know where you're coming in from. Um, it'd be lovely to see you all. And uh, I'd love to know where you guys are coming in from. And also if you know anything about NLP already. So I really want to um, interact and give you guys as much information as possible on tonight's webinar. So tonight's webinar is all about introducing you to NLP and, and giving you a bit of an overview as to what is NLP and what does it do and how do we use it and what's it for, who's it for and how could it help you. Um, so if you're listening to me live or if you're on the live Zoom, simply um, use the chat box. So if you've never heard of NLP before and you have no idea what it's about, just pop a one in the chat box. Uh, if you know a little bit about it, you've heard about it and you're here to learn a little bit more, pop a two in the chat box. And if you if you know a little bit about NLP, you've, you've done some work in NLP, and even if you're just here for a refresher, perhaps you've already learned NLP before um, and you're here for a bit of a refresher, simply pop a three in the chat box. Um, so I'm looking forward to giving you guys as much information as possible. So thank you so much for joining me tonight. Uh, my name is Julie Thompson. I'm an international trainer of NLP. And I'm super excited to, to come live with you guys tonight and just share a little bit of information about what it is and, and what it can do and how I have utilized it, not only to help me in my own personal life, but also in the industry. So I work in the coaching industry and, and now I actually teach and coach other trainers and, and sorry, uh, practitioners. So I actually teach and certify other coaches in NLP and they utilize it in all different modalities so they can use it in business, they can use it as practitioners and therapists with their clients. Uh, I teach it also to a lot of people in the health and wellness industry. Uh, we also teach it to a lot of healers. So I'd love to know a little bit more about you guys, where you're from, where you're coming in from. Um, that way I can be as interactive as possible with you. So without further ado, I'm going to jump into tonight's webinar. So what you're going to learn this evening or what some of the things that, I, that you can expect to take away from tonight's webinar is I'm going to give you a bit of an overview of what exactly is NLP and, and how does it work and what are the benefits that you can expect to, to learn if you, if you learn NLP for yourself, what are the benefits that you could expect to have in your own life and what are the outcomes and I'm also going to share with you who are some of the other people that use NLP and uh, you'll probably be quite surprised there are a lot of hugely successful and very influential people in our world that use and understand NLP and it's probably been the bedrock foundation of their career and, and how it's catapulted them to the level of success that they have in their lives and then I'll cover on what it could do for you as well. So again, thank you so much for joining me. It's lovely to have you here. I'm just having a look at some of the comments. Um, Jody's saying NLP is absolutely amazing. Jason's on board, Jody's on board. Uh, I think we've got Mel on board with us. Um, Svetlana, hello, welcome. Tabitha, welcome. Tim, thank you so much for joining. Um, again, if you have any questions, please pop them in the, in the chat box and I'll try and um, get to them as we, as we go. So, Without further ado, I'm just going to jump straight into it. So what exactly is NLP? So in a scientific form or, or in, a, in a practical form, NLP is a collection of tools and techniques. It was established back in the 70s by two men by the name of Richard Bandler and John Grinder. And it was a collection of, of tools and techniques that were modeled from three world-class therapists. Those therapists included psychologists, hypnotherapists, and the, the, the beauty about what NLP is, it's, it's described as it's like having an operating manual for the human mind. So it allows you to hack your human operating system with new programs, new belief systems, new, it's almost like having a new software that you can operate from. And it allows you to actually explore the extreme of human behaviors to a point of excellence. And what we mean by that is, is basically it's about being able to jump in and almost hotwire your vehicle and reprogram your brain. And so when you're born, the human mind has such a capacity. We are literally operating on so many programs that have usually been pre-programmed into us from a very early stage of life that we're completely unaware of. And as humans, we're operating so much unconsciously and on autopilot. So it, 
NLP is really, it's, a, it's, it's an understanding of the, how the human mind actually works, what programs you're currently running, how you can tap into those programs re and throw out the stuff that is no longer serving you and actually reprogram your hardwired operating system for full success. So NLP stands for Neuro Linguistic Programming and which it's, it's actually our nervous system. So it's our mind that takes information from the outside world and it gives it order and, and meaning and, it, and then it's what basically becomes our autopilot behaviors and a majority of that is based on our pre-programming. So if you think of your neurological system, it's your brain sends signals through your entire body. And basically we are, we are so adept at working at such a fast pace that most of our conditioning and most of our program is 95% unconscious. And what I mean by that is the brain works so super fast that it takes one chunk of information. So we're learning about, you know, anywhere up to like 13 trillion bits of information at any given point in time, but it takes one piece of that information. And based on the pre-programming that you've already got inside of you, it basically then gives it order and signal because it, it, it's, it's seen that information before it's done that before and so basically it will run an autopilot program saying no we know how to do this and this is what we're going to do and as the as the human being yourself um, most of it 95 percent of the time you have no idea that you're actually running on autopilot but the programs are working in the background so you can work at a much faster pace but unfortunately what happens is a lot of us have pre-programmed um, beliefs and values and, and different types of information that has been pre-programmed at such an early phase in our life that sometimes it actually doesn't serve us. So sometimes we could be pre-programmed to have limiting beliefs or values or belief systems that are not actually ours or the little voice inside our head that tells us that we can't do something or that we're not good enough for certain things. So a lot of that is pre-programming, which absolutely can be rewired. So most people don't actually know why they think or feel the way that they do. And this is where NLP, learning NLP as a practitioner really comes into play because it helps you understand why you think the things that you think and why you feel the things that you feel. So if you're listening to me live or, or watching the recording, um, I just want you to pop a yes in the comments section if this resonates with you. So how often have you, have you heard yourself say, I, I couldn't do that or I could never do that. So say, um, I just want you to say yes if that resonates with you because that is something that most people have a, a, a limited belief system when it comes to certain things, whether it's in business, whether it's in relationships, whether it's parenting, whether it's going for that dream. Most people have a big dream and then they sort of, then they, they chop the legs out of it and then they bring it right back down to something that they think is achievable for themselves when in fact, if you have a dream, you can actually achieve that dream. The only thing that's getting in the way is your programming telling you that you can't do something. So um, the other thing is, you know, the, the internal dialogue and the internal voice that we're running, um, a lot of the time people will say words like, why am I feeling like this or why me? And if that resonates with you, also put a yes in the comment section because when people say, you know, why me? they're actually looking for an answer, but they don't, they don't actually dive deeper into understanding why me. So what's happening is most people have no idea why they think or feel the way, the things that they do. And when they ask that question, or they actually, it's the voice inside their head. So they'll be sitting in a room quietly by themselves and they're like, why is this happening to me? Or why does this keep happening to me? And they actually never really get the answer to that. And NLP will actually give you all of the answers as to why you're thinking the things that you think, why you feel the things that you do, and why you have the limiting thoughts or behaviors or beliefs that you do. So if it sounds exciting, say heck yes. <laughs> Comment in the section and saying heck yes. Um, who would love to have a operating system for your own human mind? How cool would that be? If that sounds pretty cool, say yes. <laughs> um, so I'll tell you a little bit about how this, this diagram tells you, it, it's a little bit what we call the NLP communication model. And it explains in a very simple format of how the human mind actually works. So what you'll see here, there's an external event that happens and we intake information from the external world through our five senses. So our touch, our sight, our taste, our smell and our feelings. 
So we bring all of those through in our five senses. And then what happens is all of the information, those 2 million bits of information, which is a lot more than 2 million bits now, um, the latest every, the latest research is saying up to like 13 trillion bits of information per second. And now our human brain can't function that fast. So what it does is it deletes, distorts and generalizes a lot of that information. And we can literally only, only monitor about 128 bits of information per second. So based on our internal filters, our filters will delete, distort and generalize the information and only give us a small chunk of that information. And then out of that 128 bits of information, at any given second, we can only literally process about five to nine chunks of information, which becomes our internal representation of the external event. And then that becomes our state, which becomes our physiology, which externally becomes our behavior or what we do or what we're thinking and what we're feeling. Now, the filters inside our mind are based on what's called our meta programs. And so our meta programs are our values, decisions, beliefs, memories, all the things that we've learned in the past. So imagine that your, your unconscious mind is like a computer operating system. And when, you, when you're using, say, a Windows operating software, you might press and open a window, but the back end of what's happening there, there's probably a million bits of code that has been written to perform that particular task. Now, you're not aware of the million bits of code. You're just aware that a single window has popped open. That's exactly the way our meta programs work inside our mind. So based on whatever we've learned in the past, that's like the code. And then we'll get one bit of information from the external event. And then our meta program say, hey, we've, we've seen this before. We know how this goes. And then it will attach the rest of the story and then basically give you an internal representation of what's actually going on. Now, this can serve you in a great way if you know how to uh, rewire your meta programs. And it can also work against you if your meta programs have never been sort of, you know, fluffed up and your filters haven't been cleaned out. And if you've never explored the internal workings of your human mind before, you could be running on very old operating software, which is giving you some negative thoughts, behaviors. And so sometimes, um, and tell me if this resonates with you, perhaps you, uh, a partner's come home and say they've been in a bad mood. And without even saying anything, you can just see that their energy, that they're in a bad mood. And then all of a sudden, your meta programs have told you, okay, that person's in a bad mood. Now, this is how the rest of the afternoon is going to play out. And so you automatically change your behavior based on the external event. But what's actually happening is your meta programs will say, hey, we've experienced this before, and now I'm going to be in a bad mood too. And so you can actually reprogram yourself. You can reprogram all of these little meta programs that are running in the background. So it is totally cool. Marika, thank you so much for, um, uh, for commenting. And Jody, one of our previous students has just said, not anymore, NLP has sorted all of that out for me. So um, thank you for watching. Thank you for interacting, guys. So now how does it actually work? So your brain is definitely like a computer system. You're running natural thinking programs and you're processing strategies all of the time. So, I mean, you are literally processing million bits of information at any given second. And just like the computer, basically it will, it will automatically give the code and give meaning and order and structure to the external events that are happening around you. And this is happening 95% of the time. You're just, most people are thinking and feeling certain ways or acting in certain ways when they're not even really thinking about what they're doing. All of a sudden they just feel a certain way and they're like, why am I feeling like this? And that's because there's an autopilot program in the background running on autopilot. So, but just like a computer operating system, you can upgrade your software. So you become more effective in what it is that you do, how you think, and also how you feel. So we use, we use NLP to teach you these programs and to teach you how they work and where the programs were created initially. And, and we, we link it back so you're consciously aware. So what happens, most people, when I say 95% of the time people are unconscious, most people have no idea or no conscious awareness of where the programs were created or how they were created. And when we bring that into their awareness, for some people it can be quite a shock or an aha moment because they're like oh my gosh that makes perfect sense 
So NLP is like a psychology of what actually works. How can we create programs that actually work for us? And so we can actually reprogram our mind to reach the full potential that we're actually capable of. Capable of. And we teach it in a conscious way, but so the The unconscious level is the, the the programs and the new meta programs that we're actually helping our clients to reach. So what are the benefits of NLP? So by learning NLP as a practitioner, you're finally equipped with what we call an operating manual. And that's exactly of how the human mind functions. So we actually literally give you a manual to work from and we give you audio files and we actually go through a live training with you so you can actually become fully equipped with your own operating manual of your human mind and how it functions. And you also become fully aware of the autopilot programs that you have been running for years. So um, give me a yes if you know anyone that's attracted the same kind of relationship or had the same kind of mistakes happen over and over and over again and they go why does this always happen to me and if you know what I'm talking about if this sounds familiar just say yes because everybody does this and and the reason why this happens is because we haven't changed the programming. So if you've been in a bad relationship and you and you tend to attract bad relationship after bad relationship after bad relationship, generally what that means is there's just some old operating software that you're not actually aware of that's running in the background. So you could be trying to do things on, on the conscious level in a relationship and you could be trying to do all these great things to make things work, but on an unconscious level, you're actually sabotaging the relationship. Um, same thing happens in business. So there's a lot of people I, I see, I work with a lot of business owners and many people go into business and they make the same mistakes over and over and over and over again. And it's really sad when you see people that literally dedicate their entire lives to working, to trying to build a business, and they're taking precious time away from their family, away from their children, away from their wife, away from their loved ones. And they, they just un unfortunately and unconsciously are making the same mistakes over and over and over again in the business. And generally, again, what's happening is there's some unconscious programming that they're simply not aware of that's going on in the background. So this is literally something that you can utilize in just about any industry. So what's the gold nuggets? So hacking your internal programs allows you to remove any negative uh, limiting beliefs it allows you to remove negative emotions. It also allows you to remove phobias and traumas. And we've had a lot of success my, myself personally. I've been working in the coaching space now for, uh, I've been using NLP in the coaching space for the last five years. And I've had multiple success stories working with people with PTSD, trauma, depression, anxiety, uh, people who were having, you know, a lot of failed relationships and just, you know, a lot of self-worth issues. And we have had such amazing success stories of because we, we are teaching them how to remove these programs and they become aware of it consciously and we're doing the, the rewiring work on an unconscious level. So it's like a lifetime change because when we remove the old programming and install the new programming, they become so consciously aware of it that anytime any new event happens, the new programming interrupts the old patterns and then they're able to uh, operate from a much more resourceful state. Um, so basically with NLP, we get results. And when we talk about, you know, using NLP in um, therapy, so we can use it in coaching, we can use it in therapy, we can use it in parenting. So we have a lot of parents come to us and they create healthy parenting structures and strategies with their children. NLP's also had great results working with um, children with dyslexia and learning difficulties. Um, NLP has also been utilized in uh, relationship counseling. And it's interesting because I've worked with a lot of people in relationships. And generally when a client will come in, the, the, the uh, I guess the, the overarching problem seems to be um, it's either the other person like he, 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 or she, she, she. Uh, and so the, the blame is always outside of themselves. And it's always about bringing the client back to themselves because what they 
what they generally tend to forget in the situation is that a lot of stuff is going on inside of themselves that they're just not aware of. So we have literally helped people save their marriages, save their relationships, save their businesses and, you know, come off medications that they've been on for years for um, antidepressants. Uh, we've helped so many people. So NLP is not just for coaches. NLP is literally for just about anybody, whether you're a, um, a teacher, whether you're in the education space, if you're a healer, even if you're just an everyday person that wants to literally hack your own bio neurological system and, and start operating from a place of success. And, and finally, like dust out the cobwebs and kick out all of the stuff that no longer serves you. So Marika is saying it, it's like family patterns and it is so true. It's, it's definitely about breaking the cycle. We download a lot of our belief systems from our families um, and it's on an unconscious level. So the way the human brain is programmed we download a lot of our programming during the ages of zero and seven, because when we're at the age of z between zero and seven, we actually have no filters at that age. And so what that means is everything that we learn in that age gap actually downloads as, as like almost like a golden truth to us. So we don't question the information. We just see it as gospel basically. So during the ages of zero to seven, and when we, as, as grown adults, when you try and think about things from the ages of zero to seven, most people can't remember that, that age. They don't remember what they were thinking or feeling. Um, they can remember certain things, but a lot of people can't remember big chunks of information from the ages of zero to seven, but that's where a lot of our downloading actually comes in. So um, who, who uses NLP? So these are some faces or names that you probably know really well. Oprah Winfrey, is highly trained in NLP. Barack Obama is very highly trained in NLP. Um, Tony Robbins is one of the gurus of NLP and he doesn't actually teach NLP, but everything that Tony Robbins does in his live training events is a form of NLP. So he knows it so well. That's why if you've ever been to a, a live Tony Robbins event, you think he's talking directly to you. And the reason that is, is because he understands exactly how your human mind is operating. Because um, even though every single human being on the planet is very different, we all have a very similar operating system. And so when you understand how the human mind actually works, you can pretty much understand how most people operate. Um, and also Andre Agassi, uh, it was, you know, his work with NLP that helped him program himself to become world-class in his, in his division. So these people are not just small players. These are people who are at the top of the elite levels of their industry. And it's not that they were born with success or greatness. If you know the story of, if you know Oprah Winfrey's story, she actually is the prime example of the rags to riches story. And she had a very horrible traumatic past. And it was her work in using NLP to help her brush out those old programs and belief systems of the traumas that she went through. Um, as you can imagine, her life could have gone either direction, but it was the work that she did with the NLP that actually helped her overcome all of those um, traumas that she went through and all of those limiting belief systems and and become the world-class leader that she is today she's one of the most influential people on the planet and when you look at Barack Obama you you've got to ask yourself the question what kind of mindset does it take to be somebody who could be a world leader to be to become a president and to be be an influencer of that capacity and it's his his utilization of nlp tools and techniques that has given him the ability to actually program his mind for that belief system and tony robbins is the same and andre agassi is also the same so who else uses NLP? So people who use NLP in mainstream now, um, it's become very, very common in the coaching space. So if you're going to a life coach, uh, many life coaches have been trained in NLP. Uh, it's now becoming quite popular with business coaches as well, because what we find when we're working with business owners is it's not the business that's suffering. Most of the time, it's the owner or the operator of that business that's having a lot of the issues. And I've seen literally people play out their whole entire life all the way into their 60s and they, they struggle through business 
and it's not the business model. And I can speak from experience here because for me personally, this uh, I'm now in my 10th business model and I had, I had a lot of businesses that were quite successful, but I wasn't able to maintain the success. And it was nothing to do with the business. And I can, I can tell you from my personal experience that for me, when I was in those businesses, I always thought, no, this business isn't working. No, this business isn't working. And in actual fact, it was myself that wasn't being able to, to work from such a functional capacity to make that business as good as it could be. Every single business model that I had, had the capacity to be absolutely amazing. So it's just the mindset that you have as a business owner. And I also work with a lot of financial coaches who have clients that are having financial difficulties and it generally comes down to the mindset of the operator. Um, NLP is also highly used in therapy. So psychologists, counselors, a lot of them know NLP. I'm not saying all of them do. We've actually had some psychologists come into our trainings and walk away absolutely mind blown because they learn things that they have never learned in their psychology backgrounds before. Lots of parents are now seeking different tools and techniques to help their children and work out healthy parenting strategies. Um, a lot of experts, so um, not just on Andre Agassi, there's Russell Brand, there's um, Usher, there's, um, uh, what's her name, Jerry Halliwell, the Spice Girl, there's uh, Shania Twain, there's so many different people that are leaders in their areas and in their industries that have been taught and trained in NLP to help them dust out the, the programs that don't serve them and to help them operate from a capacity of being world-class and being excellent. So they're just some of the big names in the industry that you might know. Uh, Jesse Newman is on board. Hello, Jesse. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, Jesse is also saying that NLP is life-changing. And she said, um, oh, thank you. She's giving me a shout out. She said, Julie is incredible. If you're on the fence, jump on in. <laughs> thank you so much for the shout out, Jess. I really appreciate that. So Jesse Newman was also one of our students back in, I think it was August um, of 2020. And she's a mother of three beautiful children. And she is just a beautiful soul. And I feel that NLP has just added to her toolkit of being able to be the, the beautiful, amazing uh, parent that she is. And her and her family are so beautiful. So Jess, thank you so much for, for jumping on and joining us. Um, so what can NLP do for you as an individual? So if you're looking for a personal development tool that can literally create ongoing changes and success, one thing about NLP is I, I say that it's a gift that keeps on giving because NLP has such a diversification about it. You learn so much through the NLP because there are so many different tools and techniques that once you start diving into the toolkit, you start working with one tool and you see how powerful it is. And you literally get so addicted to that one particular tool or technique that you just utilize it and you can do so many things with it. And then after a while, you, you go back to your toolkit and you go, right, what other tools and techniques have I got in here? And for me personally, I've been, I've been utilizing NLP in the coaching space for the last five years. And I've coached business owners in so many different industries and I still have not used all of the tools in the kit that I have learned because there is just so many different tools and techniques in there that are so powerful. And it, it's like a, a playground of what you can do with it. And it, it's definitely, it's never ending and it, it's an ongoing learning. So I, I definitely say it's a, it's a gift that keeps on giving. Once you learn it, um, you really have the opportunity to continue your ongoing changes and your ongoing success. Uh, that's why people like Barack Obama and Oprah Winfrey and, and even Tony Robbins, like you see these people, they're not just here to do one thing. They're here to do multiple things and they're here to do things on a global scale. They're here to literally change the world that we live in for the better. So it, it's definitely a tool that you can use for ongoing changes and ongoing success. Uh, it can also be a tool that you can use to enhance your business performance. So it gives you better communication skills, better coaching skills. It gives you much clearer clarity around your goals and your goal setting. And it, it gives you clarity around your actual purpose. Now, I, I, I'll mention purpose here very quickly because every single person on the planet has a purpose. 
And most people are completely unaware of that. So most people uh, don't know why they're here. And most people are just living day by day by day, doing the best that they can and having a pretty good but average life. Some people are having a less, less great life. Um, but when you understand what your purpose is, like every single person on the planet is born with unique individual skill sets. And when you become clear and, and start to identify what is your superpower and what are your skill sets, then you become clear on how you can actually utilize those in a, on a much broader scale. And when you get really clear on what are you great at and what are you not so great at, you can really capitalize on that. And when, when we're talking about enhancing your business's performance, when you understand your your uh, superpowers and your skill sets, then you can go and specifically headhunt people who are have skill sets in the other areas so they can literally fill the gaps in the areas that you're not great at. So in businesses, you've got three or four different foundations that hold up a business and there's no way that one person is great at all of those things. So when you become more aware and gain clarity around what it is that you're great at, you can literally bring other members in and, and uh, a person who's really great at this is Richard Branson. Richard Branson, I'm sure he must know NLP, but he he's very world class at specifically headhunting people with specific skill sets. And that's why he's been able to build multiple global businesses. Um, what else can NLP do for you is uh, help you to learn and develop successful techniques to improve your health and well-being. So a great thing, uh, I've got a background in the health and fitness industry. So I spent about 10 years in the health and fitness industry. And what I, what I learned is a lot of the clients that were coming to me, it wasn't just a meal plan and an exercise program that was going to help them maintain their health and their well-being and many people would fall off the bandwagon and if you're listening to me you've probably been on multiple diets or multiple fitness regimes before and it, it's worked for a little while and then all of a sudden it's not working anymore or it, you've had the motivation for a little while and then all of a sudden you're no longer motivated so it, it's got nothing to do with the fitness program or the meal plan that you've been given it's what's going on internally for you as, as an individual. And so you can literally learn and develop successful techniques that are going to help you improve your health and your well-being. And it's something that I'm super passionate about. So after I learned NLP, I've been working with a lot of fitness business owners to teach them skills that they can use with their clients. And we're having massive success with it. So we're teaching a lot of other fitness professionals in the industry on how powerful this stuff actually is. Um, you can also learn skills to create greater relationships. So this is a huge one. We've helped so many people literally save marriages or find love and, and reconnect that, that chemical spark that's been lost in their relationship for years uh, and also help people identify their ideal partners. So a lady that I was working with last year, uh, amazing story. She was somebody who had failed relationship after failed relationship and she literally had given up on finding true love. She just thought, no, it doesn't exist. I'm just happy with my dogs and my children and it's just going to be us. And she literally completely gave up on the idea of even having a relationship. And fast forward a year later and she's just married the man of her dreams, which is so beautiful. So creating great relationships is about understanding yourself, understanding the other person, understanding the the, the goal to elevate each other to your highest human potential and support each other, understanding each other's weaknesses. And rather than pointing them out, it's about understanding how to communicate effectively with those partners and, and respecting them and supporting them in moments of need. Um, so, and helping ourselves understand what our own needs are as well. So creating greater relationships is a huge, huge benefit from learning NLP. Um, and so it helps us understand other people um, through both spoken and unspoken communication. So we, we learn to develop greater sensory acuity, sensory awareness of what's happening when people aren't speaking. And this is great now in the, in the current community that we live in, in the current world, so many people are suffering from depression or anxiety and so many people just aren't speaking. So NLP gives us the tools and techniques that we need to actually identify when people are actually struggling and not speaking. So imagine having that in your toolkit where you can actually have capacity to help somebody else who's not able to even help themselves through something. So uh, it's about um, also we can use it to develop healthier parenting strategies as well, which I mentioned before. 
And there's a lot of tools and strategies to help you monitor and control your 128-bit processing skills. What I mean by that, when I spoke about the, the human brain takes in like trillions of bits of information per second, but we can only download about 128 of those bits. And those bits are based on our filters. So it, it's about helping ourselves learn the techniques and the strategies to actually monitor which bits we take in. Because if there's, if there's 13 trillion bits of information and we're only able to take 128 bits every single time, Imagine if you could take 128 of the best bits. Imagine if you could take the bits that nobody else sees. And so what I mean by that, who has ever been in, who's ever been in the same event with somebody and somebody seems to just take so much value out of it and, and somebody else doesn't. So you could have two people in the same room where there's somebody on stage delivering absolute gold nuggets and value all day long. And you could have one person walk out of that event and have a whole notebook of all of the things that they're going to go away and implement. And then you could have another person that basically had an experience of where they heard the people behind them talking and then the, they could hear the microphone being all scratchy and the air conditioner wasn't working so well and the chair was uncomfortable and they were fidgeting and it was really hot in there and they only took a couple of pages of notes and they weren't sure how to get it all because they just couldn't take the information. Now, this is exactly happens all the time, every single day, every single moment. There's so many people in different or in the same events, but having completely different experiences. So you will learn tools and techniques that will help you monitor and control your 128 bits of processing that will allow you to reprogram new information and wipe out any old programs. So basically it's about becoming an athlete of your own mind. So how cool does that sound? <laughs> um, so Anya's online. Hello, Anya. Hello, Jasmine. Hello, Sarah. Thank you so much for watching, team. I'm glad to have you all here. So if you've got any questions, if you have any feedback, please feel free to use the chat and I will try and give you a shout out as we go. All right. So where can you learn NLP? Well, you're in the right place for a start. So basically, uh, I at the Advanced Mind Academy, we offer live online fully interactive training. So it's practitioner training, NLP practitioner training and certification. So it's seven full days of training. It's in a live interactive environment. It's a triple certification program. What that means is you get not one, but three certifications. So what's included is basically you get certified as a practitioner of neuro-linguistic programming. You get certified as a coach of neuro-linguistic programming. You also get certified as a practitioner of timeline therapy. Now, timeline therapy is one of the most powerful tools and techniques that we actually teach. And in my five years of coaching was probably the tool that I use about 80% of the time. And that's the tool that I had so much success working with people with depression and PTSD and severe traumas. And it is such a powerful technique. I can't even describe to, to you how powerful it really is. Um, and there's a few people online watching now. Um, and I know Sarah is one of them um, who had an absolutely mind blowing experience with timeline therapy. We also in our trainings, we offer a full bonus day, what we call advanced coaching business principles. And so we actually teach our students. So not, not every student that comes to us wants to become a coach. Some people are there just for personal development, but others come there and then we teach them because we're actually, we teach it to you in a way where we teach you as a coach. So not just as a participant or as a student, but we teach it to you in a level where you are actually become certified. So in the interactive environment, you'll have live training with myself and the other students. And then you get to go into breakout rooms where you practice being a coach and being a, a, a client in, the, in that environment. So we actually teach it to you on a level where you become certified as a coach. So we offer a full bonus day after the training, which is called Advanced Coaching Business Principles. So we, we give you the tools that you would need to successfully go out and create your own coaching business. And we give you a full day access to a, a whole day of this um, Advanced Coaching Business Principles. Plus we give you access to a full portal afterwards where you can do step-by-step -step and follow the procedures in your own time at your own pace as well. So you will be internationally qualified to start your own coaching business and to help start serving other people. One thing I love about being in the coaching industry 
is so many people and it's it's not even if you you're not a coach even if you're not a coach most human beings on the planet we are born to help people we're born to help other people and if you're a parent you already know that you 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 your goal is to serve the other person and to help that person have the best life possible if you're a mother or a father you know what it's like to to try and help other people um, if you're a caring individual it's probably something that you do on a daily basis is you just do your best to try and help other people through their stuff and that's what we're born to do as humans we are naturally drawn to trying to support and help other humans that's that's what we're that's what we're here for so Jody's saying I love being a coach it's my passion it's it's such a rewarding um it is such a rewarding industry if you do come through the training you will be certified as a coach and when you go out and if you do become a coach basically you have such a rewarding journey as a coach because every single time you coach a, a person you learn and grow so much as as an individual yourself as well so and if you are a coach and you're watching this uh, I know that we are connected to a lot of people in the coaching field and some of you are business coaches or other types of therapists, some of you are Reiki instructors or, or healers um, or perhaps financial coaches or teachers. This stuff is perfect to add to your toolkit. Uh, so whether if you're doing it just for personal growth or to gain additional knowledge to help you serve your clients better, NLP is absolutely outstanding. It's a world-class methodology of excellence and it's been taught to a level where it's governed by actual associations worldwide. So it's not just we're teaching, a, you know, a seven day fly by the wall course. They're actual teachings that we that are governed by international boards to make sure it's kept at a level of excellence. So that's what's included. Um, what does it cost for a training? So a general practitioner training course, the normal price is around $4,995. And that's your seven full days. Plus you get access to your operation manuals, your audio files, you get everything you need. You get live interactive with the students. Uh, they're generally priced around $4,995. We are offering an early bird special for just $24.95. We also have uh, interest-free payment plans available. So if it's something that you wanted to do on a payment plan, we do a $99 weekly payment plan with a deposit. So if you're interested in securing a spot in one of our trainings, simply send me a message. If you're on the Zoom and you want to, um, if you're interested and you're on the Zoom, simply just pop a comment in the, in the box there and I will definitely answer that for you. If you're watching me live on Facebook, simply comment um, more info. Just comment more info and I will get back to you. Uh, if you want to touch base with us, you can check us out on Facebook at Advanced Mind Academy and simply just you can either reach out to me personally on Facebook or you can jump on our Facebook page. Um, there's more than more than one avenue to reach out to us. And guys, if you have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out, even if you want a little bit more information. Um, I've just had another one after February. That's a great question. So our training, our next training is actually in February. I uh, hope you guys can see my screen here. So um, the, the next training after February, we've got another practitioner training in May. The May date is from the 10th to the 16th of May. And we'll have another one in August from the 2nd until the 8th of August. So we've got uh, February, May and August. And we, we run the three practitioner trainings every single year. And we've also got in November every year, we run the master practitioner certification. So the master practitioner is a 14 day training event and it is completely next level. So what we teach you in the, in the seven days at PRAC level is absolutely phenomenal. Um, and literally it's enough for you to go out there and start changing lives and start just being a better human um, and operating from a place of absolute phenomenal excellence and actually learning how to reprogram yourself. And then what we teach you at master practitioner level, that again is just a whole nother level of deeper understanding of deeper embedded programs, um, like of how the humans, how humans actually operate, our levels of evolution as humans. And it, it makes it very easy to identify 
you know, where somebody is at in their life and how you can best serve that person. So for master practitioner level, again, whether you're looking to become a coach or looking at utilizing the coaching space, or even if you're just looking at your own level of personal development, um, the, the, uh, the master practitioner level is an absolute game changer. And I know for me personally, uh, when I went through my master practice training uh, many years ago, it was a game changer. My, my entire life changed on every aspect when it came to relationships, to business, to my personal health, uh, to my level of ability to just go out and start serving people from a much higher capacity. Everything changed from there. So um, again, thank you so much for joining. Thank you for watching. Uh, we've got the training course in February. There is another one in May, another one in August. And again, if you've just got any other questions about NLP and you'd love some more information, please just reach out to me. Check us out, Advanced Mind Academy on Facebook, and I'd be more than happy to answer any of your questions. So again, thank you so much for watching, and I will speak to you guys very, very soon. Thanks a lot. Bye for now.